Hey, Organistas, welcome to the channel Forever Orchids. My name is Tracy OMG. I'm so excited today. I've got a little small haul. I couldn't stand it. I could not stand it. I know that the last haul that I did from Sunset Valley Orchids that I recently posted, I mentioned in there that he had some Jack Foliera apple blossoms that used to be called Awanagara apple blossom but he has some oh my gosh i kept waiting i tried you guys i tried to wait and not do an impulse buy i wanted to wait for some of his other orchid uh lists that were going to come out maybe his cymbidiums maybe his catacetums and then place the order but i just got to thinking what if these sell out before he lists later in the spring the other orchids on his for his website and i'm just like i gotta buy them can't stand it gotta buy them so let's do an unboxing it just arrived today and let's get in here and see what we got i ordered two of them and the reason i did that is because these are seedlings and what that means is one parent crossed with the other and you can get varying colors of flowers a little bit of different growth pattern coming from these oh let's see what we got here oh, no freaking way oh my gosh i hope these didn't blast there are buds oh my gosh i can't stand it oh my gosh holy moly that was a shock i'm gonna try to get these out very very carefully we've lost some some media which that is perfectly okay but this sweet little baby here holy moly I try not to make a loud noise with all this paper let me get this paper out of the way here oh my gosh y'all i just oh holy moly oh new growth look can y'all see that new growth right there look at that but more importantly it's in bud and look how dark these buds are a lot of times when you get that there's two th reasons that can happen one it is because the orchid itself was getting very, very high light. The second reason could also be that there is a lot of uh, red. Um, I'll put up a name across the bottom of the screen here, right here, of what it is that it is called, because I know if I try to pronounce it right now, because I'm so ecstatic about the buds on this plant that I am going to mispronounce it for sure, but it is genetically a chemical within the plant itself and it will have those red pigmentations. So very good chance this is going to be um, a dark color, which I hope so. I saw these plants for the first time when they were probably about the first time they were registered with the American Orchid Society. And I'm going to put up a craw, I, um, I'll put up, hold on here. I just can't stand this. I got to get this, this tape off of here. And, and I just, I can't think straight because I'm so excited about these buds. Okay. Let's get this tape off of here. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, uh, look guys look at all the branching look at all the new root tips on here oh this is so ecstatic new growth let's get the little media out of here and then those buds oh my gosh okay what i was getting getting ready to say is this is a cross and i'm going to put that up right here here's the tag so you can read what the cross is now the exciting thing for me 
is that the first one here, the snowflake, is a 4N. What does 4N mean? That means it is tetraploid. That means it has four times the number of chromosomes. Instead of a diploid being two, two sets of chromosomes, this one is four. What does that mean when it comes to plants? Well, it means that your leaves can be thicker. It also means the plant may grow slower, but also bigger blooms, bigger blooms. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we want. Alrighty, let me set this one aside here, set it down here. And let's look at the second one here and I'm going to remove the box. And you're not going to believe this guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I tell you what guys, every single time I buy from Sunset Valley Orchids, I am so impressed here. I'm going to just grab something here to sweep out. We've got a little perlite stuck down in there. Okay, let's get the tape off of this. And then I have to show you plant number two. If I knew these suckers were going to be in bloom, I might have ordered more of them. I already have a Jack Foliera apple blossom, but it is the yellow color. And when I first saw these decades ago, they were in the, I guess you would call it like pastel, um, kind of like a white flower with trimmed in a gorgeous little soft pink, peachy pink type of colors. Oh, they were, it was so, so pretty. And I have been wanting one of these plants ever since. The yellow one that I have, I got that one uh, last year in May. I did a haul and I will put up a little link to that haul. I went down to South Carolina and I started finding bag babies. I was not familiar with bag babies at that time, but I found some and I found an apple blossom and I freaked out then because I was like, I've always wanted this plant, but it's the yellow variety. It hasn't bloomed for me yet. It is in a four inch pot. And to be quite honest, it is uh, a little bit taller than these pseudobulbs here, but it's not the four N. It's not been crossed with a 4N, so that may be why these plants have more vigor. But my, my yellow one is doing really good. It's growing like crazy, and it's just wonderful. Now, this second one here, has anybody noticed the whole time I've been talking? Look at that. That is in spike. Oh, my gosh. I cannot stand it. I can't stand it. Guys, thank you so much for coming with me on this little haul here. I will definitely keep you updated as to what I, what these blooms look like in the next couple of weeks. And until next time, guys, happy orchid growing. Bye.